Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this file and they had to remove a, another part of this uh, clover. They really like this clover. So we can left click, right click. They've already traced it evidently and it just needs to join these two sections kind of, and you just can't take nodes and just start joining because you get that. So the other, the best way would be to fill in the gap. And we're going to take the parallel dimension tool and find out how, about how wide this line is. And it's 0.13 inches. So what we're going to do, we're going to uh, go up to our uh, pen tool down here. And we're, we're going to change this to inches. And then I'm going to type in 0.13 inches. And then when you draw a line, we're going to use the three-point curve line. Try to get about in the midpoint to the midpoint. And then make that little bit of a curve. And it doesn't matter if you're not in there or not. You can see we're not really in there, but we can move that. Then I would take that line and I would go up to object and convert the outline to an object. Left click, right click. We're way too thick. Um... Let's go, maybe I mismeasured it. Um, there we go. And I'll make it a hairline. <laughs> That's pretty close. Matter of fact, we're going to make everything a hairline. Be a lot easier. And then we're just going to take this. It'd be better to go ahead and try to get it in the middle before you do this and then snap off of it. And we're just going to try to go, kind of go to the edges. We're going to take the virtual sigma delete key and delete that. Now we can smooth that out in just a second. I did a little better on this side. You can move either node up. If you move that one, you've got to really maybe back up and see if you don't mess something up. But we're not. I think this is the easiest way to do this. And then take your line there, take your virtual segment, delete key and delete that. Now we've got a few little bumps, but we can't really do anything at it with it yet. Let's see how big this thing is. It's 13 inches. So let's change our nudge factor to 14. Let's take our smart fill tool and fill that in and nudge it over. And now we can left click, right click, get it back to a hairline. Sometimes you have to click off of it, get back to the pick tool to get a hairline and we can smooth out if you think it needs it. It does just a little bit. We can see like there's a double node we can delete. Let's see what happens when we delete those two nodes. Not really anything. That's pretty good. Uh, it's a little bit wider up here than it is here, but you can always take your handles and make it a little bit wider. And then I would strongly suggest Filling that in and nudging it over. Now they actually said they needed a quarter inch. Um, quarter inch of a thickness of a line. They're going to engrave it into some wood and fill it with epoxy. So I'm going to take the smart fill tool. Let's actually do it on a different color. And fill that in. And then we can left click, right click. And I'm going to turn that into a hairline. So now there's just, see, whenever you're in the pick, you got to go back to your pick tool. Let's change this to a hairline. So now you just have a single line. So if, if they wanted a quarter of an inch, and they actually said they want it 10 by 10. So with our ratio lock for a second, we're going to make one of them 10. And then unlock your ratio, and if they want it 10 by 10, now you've got a 10 by, that didn't work, 10 by 10. Now they wanted a quarter inch gap. I don't know if we want to go to the outside or inside, depending on their look. But we can go to effects and contour. We're going to contour to the outside. I'm going to go ahead and go with rounded corners, a quarter inch. And you get that. And then... 
you don't have to break it apart. You could use your smart fill tool, turn that black for engraving and take away the outline. And now you have a quarter inch. Let's see what it looks like um, going to the inside. Yeah, I don't like those rounded corners. You might. I mean, it kind of makes it look more like a heart than a clover. But I think going to the outside is going to be your best bet. <clears throat> now, this is going to be a little bit wider. Uh, but anyway, that's how to improve that line. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. And thank you for watching.